that potential mortality should be coming up. Yeah. It's not the kind of wild sheep chase these researchers want to be doing. They're searching for California bighorn sheep using equipment that tracks radio collars on the animals. The individual with the collar is most likely towards the highway. Their readings indicate 9 to 12 collared sheep in the region are no longer moving, and that usually means the animals have died. So we're looking in like the 60 to 80 percent mortality rate from a potential population of 230 to 250 individuals. So it's a high, it's a mass mortality event really is what's occurring here. California bighorn sheep are one of four species of wild sheep in BC. The animals are susceptible to infections which have decimated herds. The disease that is killing sheep here is called blue tongue. It's a viral infection transmitted by small flying midges that's not often seen on this side of the border. Biologists believe seasonal wind patterns move infected insects from areas endemic in the U.S. up here into southern British Columbia. Outbreaks continue until the first frost in the fall, which kills off the midges infected with the disease. Biologists say record-breaking temperatures and a lack of rain this year are also a factor. With few water sources, sheep congregate in groups, increasing opportunities for the disease to spread. This disease as it currently stands, is exacerbated by this drought period and is going to be more frequently due to human-caused climate change. So there's another mortality. Many yeah. of the deceased animals have ended up near a wildlife fence. It's grim work for researchers as they come across carcass after carcass across the landscape. This amount of loss this quickly is devastating. I don't, I don't really have any other words for that. Conservationists are concerned about this herd and wonder if it will be able to recover to numbers seen before the outbreak. They're an iconic species. Uh, here in British Columbia, I don't think most people know how many sheep uh, or how special it is here. Near the end of a depressing day in the field, a glimmer of hope. There's one live one right there. Oh, We've thank one. God. Researchers hope this ewe will be one of the few bighorns to survive and be an important member of the herd as it tries to recover from this deadly year. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Grand Forks, British Columbia.